All right, so just so you guys know, there is a Man Cave Tool Store. The link is in the description below. You can get a hat, shirt, hoodie, long sleeve shirts, mugs, stickers, and a whole assortment of stuff. So please like this video and subscribe to the channel. And just to let you guys know, today at my Walmart, I talked to the Heart representative. She said that there are Heart brushless tools coming out. Uh, they do have new products coming out soon. They have a, a brushless battery operated uh, two gallon vacuum coming out, or it's already out. They just need a certain storage, just still need to receive them. They do have a 12 inch fan. And so, so, so yeah, it, it's actually pretty awesome what's coming out. She was very helpful and very informative. And I thank her so much for, uh, for helping me out, so. So today what we are going to do is we are going to discuss the heart tools that I use when I want to maintain the boat when I'm out on the water. Because uh, heart is an extremely good line to get into if you want tools but you don't want to pay a lot of money for them. And so I do, out of all the tools I have, I want to keep a certain, uh, I want to keep certain tools on the boat permanently. So when I'm out on the water, I'm not missing a tool if I need to make a quick repair because something got loose or something got disconnected. I could just wait for uh, chill in the water for an hour and then it work on the motor after it cooled down. And so I could, then I could go home. If it's something simple that I all have to do is tighten or just reconnect something. So, which it does happen from time to time once in a great blue moon, but when that time comes, you want tools. So when it comes to Having a tool set, uh, a hand tool set that you can keep on you at all times without ever having to worry about taking it away or needing it somewhere else, I recommend Heart because uh, the tools aren't are, the tools aren't that expensive, and they're actually a good quality for the amount of times that you will use them. Now, do I recommend Heart for a daily use on in the professional setting on the job site? No, you're going to need a little bit more hardcore tools. To do that which i suggest craftsman or husky but when it comes to the homeowner slash diyer that is going to use these once in a while and not every day hardcore i recommend heart so i also got we are going to unbox this as well we're going to i got the heart hand vac so i could keep this one on the boat with a battery so i could just vacuum in case if i get crumbs somewhere and i don't want it uh seen and so so i can keep that out on the boat too but let's go over what i have in the bag first because i Decided to do this because I maintain my own my own motor on the boat besides winterizing it because uh, during the spring when I first initiated the, the boat to turn on one of the freezer uh, caps popped off and I was able to get it in and that popped out because I unsuccessfully winterized my my uh, my boat engine so I'm going to take that in for now on because there cannot be any water in the engine and the marina takes care of that above and beyond so so yeah so let's take a look at what's in this bag all right so these tools are not fragile by any means is what i also got is the 180 piece socket set that uh hart actually sent to me and so they wanted me to review this and i did i used use this in a couple of videos with the sockets but yeah, but like uh, this, see, this is too big to take with you on the boat. So I broke down what I will need from this kit and I took it and put it on a strip like this. And so instead of carrying this thing around, I now only have to carry this. So far, I, I, I use the, I didn't use these a lot, but I did use these and I have no complaints about them. I also keep a socket with me so in case my prop comes off. At least I ha I'm able to get it on somewhat while it's in the water because it's better than not. If I and I also have an extra nut just in case because it's easier to find the prop in the uh, on the bottom of the water than it is to find the nut. So I have an extra nut. So I I have a lot of hard tools here for many. As you see, they're, they're they are dirty. So they are dirty. These do get used. And so, yeah, so I have screwdrivers, I have pliers, I have wire cutters, razor, sockets, socket wrench. And so, yeah, th this is, you know, of course, to fully maintain a boat, you need more than this, but 
you, you get the basics when it comes to the tools you'll need to do a quick fix so you can get to the, uh, a dock or marina or wait to someone to, to, to help you out. And so when it comes to this, I just wanted to show you guys that this, uh, get a cheap, get cheap tools to do a quick fix on your, your boat or your ATV or your camper, you know, take this with you to go camping, <coughs> anything recreational like that. It's smart to have a permanent tool set for that object, whether it's your camper, your trailer, your boat, you know, and so it's better than spending a, uh, like $500 on tools that you'll barely use. So, so I do recommend you get an inexpensive set like this to keep on your boat. And I also have a wrench on there to take off my, to take out my drain plug for the exact size of what that is. And so, yeah, this is like, it's like my emergency kit that I keep in the boat at all times. All right, but let's unbox this bad boy really quick. This is tool only, no battery or charger. Of course, you get instructions and warranty. Now, I believe it might be up a limited three-year warranty. It says it on the box. Like I said, this is a tool only. And there you go. All right, so this it it is a it is a nice little device. It's not as big as other brands because so this also means you can get it in tighter spots. In the future we are going to do a versus video between the Ryobi and as you can see, it is significantly smaller. So this is good to get into tighter spots as this one is a big one. So it is a nice little uh, little hand vac or dust buster, if you will. So the model number for this is HPH V01 20 volt. Uh, it doesn't give any other specs of that when it comes to the suction power of the vacuum. All right, so I got my heart bag full of batteries. I have a 40 power right here, battery is full. Now, like I said, this is a tool only item. Seems, seems pretty, seems pretty decent. It does come, it does have a double filter. There we go. Like I said, it does have a stop screen to prevent, prevent the big objects, but you, uh, in time you could replace these. Uh, you're not limited just one. You could, uh, order, uh, new ones. So there you go. That goes back in like that and it is shaped so you can't, I won't let you install it upside down. Just like that. And there you go. It's a, it's a, it's a nice little, nice little vacuum. Yep. It's a nice little vacuum. All right, so we got a little pile right here. Now remember, it's a light duty vacuum. It's a, it's a dust buster. So let's see how well it does picking up these objects. Did a good job in my opinion, but I picked it up like, like it's nothing. So this will majorly be able to do what I want it to do on the boat. So like I said, the heart is a good brand to get into when it comes to wanting tools that you don't need every day that you want to keep in a certain location and you don't need to take it out of whatever, uh, you where wherever you have it. So like, I, I, I don't feel guilty at all leaving this in the boat. And if it gets stolen, it's only like about $75 worth of tools instead of like four or 500. So it's really not that bad. And so this thing's awesome though. Uh, this thing did, it, it, it sucked that up better than I thought it would. And so that means that this would actually do fantastic on the boat, cleaning out those tight areas. So I don't have to keep on whipping out my shop vac to do a quick vacuum on the boat. This will take care of the little stuff that's here and there instead of whipping out a big vacuum. So, so I, I do recommend this vacuum. Uh, ooh, and ooh, I like that. See, you learn, you see, you learn something new. And so if you need something a little bit more precise, all you have to do is flip that up.
or sorry, you flip it down if you need a little bit more of a pinpoint. And so yeah, when it comes to the Ryobi, it's on it's on the bottom, then you do that. Which I I have two of these, I lost one of those. So that's uh, Hart did a smart job. Hart did a smart job connecting it to the connecting it like that. So it's awesome. But very good. So so this has just been the uh, this has just been the unboxing of the vacuum and a little demonstration of if you want inexpensive tools to keep in a certain location so you don't have to worry about them or need them because you'll have your other tools for specific things. I recommend Heart. So if you found this video helpful, please like this video and please hit the bell button to be notified of future videos and please subscribe to the channel. This is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in and I'll see you guys next time.